Today we're going to take a photo and turn it into a sticker. I know a lot of people have asked that. I did a recent video on how to do it with just uh, some text. So here we go. So here's our photo right here. Just a just a normal JPEG of a hamburger. So I'm going to drop that into Adobe Illustrator right here. There we go. So this this one's a lot of pixels here. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to select it and then we're going to fit our artboard to the selected art. That way our artboard is the entire size of that unit. So Okay, so what do we do with it now? This one's got a nice white background on it, so that makes it easy for uh, cutting out or removing the background so and so so one thing I like to do is we're gonna create another layer here and then we're going to take this image I'm going to I'll do this the slow way so everybody can see I'm gonna copy I've got it selected you see the dots around all the corners there I'm gonna copy it okay and then I'm going to go to my other layer here make sure I'm selected on it so now I'm selected on that layer and then we are going to paste in front okay so paste in front that way it ends up exactly on top and not you know skewed to the side or anything so we'll paste in front now we can turn off that layer one and as you can see there it is that guy is still there so now we're gonna select that image once again it's all selected and we're going to do an image trace on them. And I like to use silhouettes. It's a pretty easy way of doing this. So we're just going to do silhouettes. Tracing might such a big image that, you know, it might, if you don't have the processing power, might take a while. But we're going to go ahead and continue. Bam. So now we have something to work with. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and expand this out. So we're going to expand it. Now that brings it, this is all vectorized artwork now. So if we bring our other image in, you see the burger's still there. But now we have this vectored thing that we can now work with. So this is going to be for tracing those outlines uh, around that image for cutting. So. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff that it just kind of left here. Some of the uh, seeds, the, the burger lettuce, stuff like that. That's all stuff we can get rid of. So by double-clicking on it, you'll see it brings it into the group. And we can start selecting that stuff and deleting it. That way we have something nice and clean to work with. I'm just going to go around and start kind of wiping out all these little white spots here in our image. Uh, another way you can do it here is to reverse this. So I'm going to turn it into outlines. Oops. I'll go back here. Sorry. I get out of this. Select it. And we're going to reverse it here into outlines. Now you can see all those little bits and pieces here that are part of that. So once we're in here we can start kind of individually selecting them and deleting them it'll just get you there a little bit quicker deleting deleting we'll have to zoom in and see pieces here so I'm just going to select on them just delete all those points out of there Do it this way too delete. what we want to be left with is just the outline of the burger itself Now this guy here, as you can see, he's not really kind of connected. 
So one thing we can do, we'll select him with uh, the direct selection tool and then come down here to our delete anchor points. And we can just start kind of deleting that. The nice thing is we don't have to be really accurate uh, around this image as it's just kind of got a lot of weird detail there. So that kind of got rid of that little loop right there all together. Zoom back out, see if we missed anything else. Use our direct select. Just hit delete. See if there's anything. And it looks like we're pretty clean now. So now we have an outline of our burger itself. So once again, we'll bring that burger in. And you can kind of see the little black outline pretty much around it. But that's not the outline that we're going to use for cutting. Okay, so we still need to do that. Um, obviously, it saw some shadow right here. And I think that's fine. We'll just go ahead and leave that. But we're going to need to make an outline here, a real outline that we can use um, around that burger. So once again, we're going to make sure we're selected on it. Going to come here to Object and we're going to go to path and offset path because this is so large yeah something like 40 points looks like that puts a big offset around it you'll see so that can start our initial cut line around it so just to show you guys the difference here if we go miter versus round stuff like that the round and then your limits you know it can make it a much smoother instead of so jaggedy that way the blade just kind of goes a little smoother around it let's try 40 see if that smooths it out anymore yeah a little bit so and we'll hit ok so now we have a true outline around our burger we'll bring that burger back and you can see the outline all the way around. So that is the actual cut path that the cutter can do. Oh, looks like it's going to want to try and cut this out right here in the middle. So let's go ahead and remove that. So I'm going to double click on it. Make sure that I clicked on it a couple times. And we're just going to delete that guy out of there. And once again, we have a nice outline all the way around so one thing though we no longer need that inner one anymore so that can go away because that will no longer be our outline that's kind of just outlining the burger so I'll just go ahead and delete that we'll go back here bring that image back and there we go from here you can select that in your um, in your swatches and turn that into a true cut. As you see, I have no swatches here. So why don't we go ahead and build a swatch just so everybody knows how to do that in order to make that good. We got our burger and outline. We need to uh, get our color swatches set up so that we can cut contour and perf cut contour. So some people will just download the swatches from Roland. I'll to show you just how incredibly easy this is. So we're going to go to our swatch library here. Let's go down to swatch libraries. And we're going to go to our default swatches. And I like to use the print default swatches. And you can honestly use any swatch. And the two colors I like to use is the CMYK green and the CMYK magenta. Um, it just seems to be default that a lot of people use. Honestly, you can use any color you want. Oh, see, I just selected on the green right there. We'll jump back out of that one just to show you. So I'm gonna grab and drag these swatches over into my swatches. And then we're going to create them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that guy. So we need to create the swatch. So I'm going to double click on it and we're going to name it perf cut actually sorry <laughs> cut contour 
And we're also gonna change this to a spot color. It does need to be a spot color, and it needs to be named exactly as seen, cut contour. If it's not a spot color and it's not a cut contour, VersaWorks is not gonna find it. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that. And then we're gonna go over to our green, double click on it. And this one's going to be perf cut contour. Once again, change that to a spot color. All right, and they are ready to go. So now we've got this nice outline around our burger, as you can see, but it's black. So we're going to select on it. I'm going to make sure we're on the outline of it. Go to our swatches. And you'll see that swatch as I hover over it. It says cut contour. Click on that, and that has changed that outline to pink now. Now VersaWorks will recognize that. But we want to cut this burger out. So when we're making stickers and everything, we want to cut them out as individual stickers. So what do I do here? Well, here's an easy one. Let's go ahead and select on that one, and let's create another outline around it. So we'll go to Object, and we're going to offset that path once again. The offset path. That looks like a pretty decent amount there to go around it for cutting. Another 40 points. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and select that guy. And then we're going to turn him green. Now he's going to perf cut. So you'll see the pink line. That's going to kiss contour cut. <coughs> excuse me. Or kiss cut as it's called, or this is going to perf cut. So the green is the perf cut. That'll actually cut it out where you'll be able to knock it out of it. So that's kind of it from here. You're going to save your file, save it as a PDF, and this thing's going to be ready to go. So we'll go here, save as. We're going to save it as a PDF. Just going to save it to our desktop, hamburger, as a PDF, standard PDF, save it, save, and it is now ready for cutting. So anyway, that's how I would, um, you know, just grab a picture off the internet, get it ready to go. Right or wrong, there's a million different ways to skin the cat. This will show you guys a couple things in Illustrator, how to work with it. Um, we'll go into more depth on some Illustrator stuff later on. But you're going to have a nice hamburger picture here to cut out. So good luck. Enjoy. Hope you guys like it.